Hey everyone, it's Mary with Mama Bear Prepper. Welcome back for another video. You guys, I know many of you, pretty much all of you, have got to have seen these in the store. These are usually filled with canned goods. If you have not been taking those from the store for free, they're absolutely free. I've never had any kind of trouble whatsoever with taking those. I'm going to show you how much they can truly transform your prepper pantry and what a big, big difference they can make. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so this is a very small section of my prepper pantry I want to show you guys. This is pork and beans and grilling beans. These I've been stacking up like this without the boxes. And like you can see, they're very vulnerable to tipping over, which I don't want them tipping over, you know, and getting dents in them. So let me just show you guys how much more nicer and neater this will be with the cardboard boxes. Okay, you guys, so this is the best I could do those cardboard boxes you know i do have different sizes right here so now i know like how many more of the bigger cans of pork and beans i would like to get to fill this up how many more of this size and then you know i like to have a flat of these small little ones for just single serving portion sizes you know for a quick easy snack um y'all these are 13 grams of protein per can so that's pretty good and it gives you something sweet also when you want something sweet but you want to you want to get some protein in these these are pretty good okay this is what the grilling beans look like. I was able to fit all these size into one of these cardboard boxes right here. And this size of the bushes beans, um, I will need to get a cardboard box for this and get more to fill that up next time. Um, I was able to move on over here to the blue runner beans. So it's important to have these types of beans too that's already cooked and ready to go in case if you don't have enough water to cook, you know, the beans over the stove like, you know, homemade beans, okay? So I had this weirdly shaped cardboard box from Walmart I took. This was able to fit a nice, neat two rows of the these big blue runner red beans right here. You know, I put the latest Best Buy date in the back, which is like the 2024s. And then, yeah, all this is like 2024, so like July 2024 to February 2024. And then I will need to get another box just like this the next time I go. And to be able, you know, have all these continue continually to be nice and neat and organized um only have oh, right here so that and then only have one of these navy beans by the blue runner brand so i will need to get more of these and get a nice good cardboard box for these um i don't have i don't keep much llama beans in a can so this will just stay like this for now um so i have that i do have Actually, I got three. I got three more cardboard boxes, so I can go to another section. Um, up here, I can probably, yeah, I have enough beads, so I'm going to go ahead and put a cardboard box here. Okay, so I was able to easily stack up the rest of my canned beets into a cardboard box. Now, I know if I want to make this flat full, I need to get three more. Y'all, I love me some beets. You know, okay, so I think that does it for this video. I do have two more cardboard boxes, but I think I'm going to move on to my other shelf where it could really, really be needed and used with my canned soups. So I might do that. I don't think I'm gonna put that in this video, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching. And for those of you who say, you know, food should not be your only priority in prepping. Well, no freaking shit, Sherlock. <laughs> I mean, anybody should know that, okay? Um, of course, you want a way to protect yourself. You want to make sure you have water, different water sources, medical, all sorts of stuff, okay? But for me, the number one priority for me that I like to focus on on my channel, okay, is food. Um, you know, in the future, I may or may not do gun videos. I don't know. I do have several years of shooting experience, but I'm no expert, so I really don't know if I would do videos on that or not. Also, something you might want to think about, <laughs> food is important. Of course you need food, but for me, what I think about, you know, having something that's easy and ready to eat in a heartbeat is Say you're when you're out and you're looking down your rifle scope long range and you need to take out an enemy. You don't want to be hungry. You don't want to not be able to think straight. And you don't want your hands to be shaky when you're hungry. Because you might as well just forget it. Hang it up there. So when you take that shot long range, or any shot for the matter, you, you don't want your hands being shaky. I don't know about you, but I know when I'm hungry, like when I'm really, really hungry, my hands get shaky. So that's something that you might want to think about. 
So for those of you who say, you know, food should not be your number one priority. Well, no, there's so much other stuff that goes into prepping a slate. That's a given, okay? Everybody should know that. But for my channel, the number one topic I talk about is food storage, okay? Um, grocery hauls, prep, uh, storing up foods. Okay, so that's just something you might want to think about. <laughs> you don't want shaky hands. And for those of you who say, well, you know, you need to grow your own garden. Well, yeah, of course you want to grow your own garden. But you also want to have something you can easily open up and eat. So you're just not shaky when you want to take that shot. You know, that's a big one you might want to think about, okay? All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Any comments, leave it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Take care, you guys.